It's Dense Pack Day at the Cambridge ADU, so we stopped by Studio HPDC today to show you what we're building. We've got our strapping layer. This provides a service cavity. Lately, we've been converting this over to inch and a half thick to provide a bigger service cavity so we can get some mechanicals in there, refrigeration lines and so forth, because we don't want to penetrate our air control layer here. It helps contain our dense pack insulation, which will be going into this rafter cavity. And directly on top of that, we've got strips of wood fiber insulation. It's a great thermal break for the roof assembly and it also adds substantial depth for our dense pack insulation. Why don't we head over to the job site and see what's going on with the insulation process. They are dense packing this very well to prevent settling, so we're initially controlling the moisture drive with Intello Plus, which is a smart vapor retarder. It can actually vary how much moisture it allows to pass through in either direction. Second, we've got Timber Fill from Timber HP. It is a dense packed loose fill insulation and it is hygroscopic in nature, which means it's able to dissipate any moisture that potentially gets in there. The next, we go topside. We've got something called Vapro Shield SA on top of our structural 5.8 CDX plywood. If any moisture should actually make it that far up to the CDX, the Vapro Shield allows that moisture to just get right through and dissipate in our over vent channel, which is one and a half inches. We've got an intake down at the lower soft it, it goes out at the ridge and boom, the risk has really been minimized. This is a great assembly. This house is going to be really well, not only insulated, obviously, but very, very comfortable and uh, cost effective to heat and cool.